So now we have with us Vinay, he's the Chief Design Officer of Mflux and he, he, he's the reason why this bad boy looks so gorgeous. So uh, Vinay, thanks a lot for finding the time with us. And first, why don't you walk us through the design process, what's happening here? Like, how did you come up with these lines and these curves? What was the philosophy behind it? Well, the idea was to have something very extreme and very beautiful at the same time. Right. So if you see the stance, the proportions, it has a lot of aggression in it. But then if you take a look at each of the panels, right, they are very calm and beautiful and composed. So I wanted to have this sort of a duality, sort of this harnessed aggression in this design. And right. that I think is representative of electric technology which at right. the moment is kind of overlooked in the world. Right. Because a lot of people don't know, you know, the potential of electric technology. The fact that it's so silent and can kick a lot of ass at the same time. Right. That is the embodiment that I wanted on this motorcycle for the design. Right, right. So, and I think our design team has done a very beautiful job in bringing all of this together. Right. And, uh, I think so, so like what, what was your inspiration like did you use some template to start off with or this was something that you built organically yourself from it was scratch? built very organically okay it was built okay. Very organically. okay okay so how many like like obviously you see the form overall but i'm pretty sure this is like very deconstructed right there must be like different components and parts that you looked at individually yeah. right so like what was the collaboration like process with the uh, with the engineers you know because they are the ones who have to finally make sure that it it, it works physically Correct. so how did the entire process work like how long it, take, it took just walk us through that yeah okay so even before i started working on the aesthetic motorcycle basically part of this motorcycle right we had to set the package right right you know the wheelbase the rake angle you know the turning radius right the chassis everything had to be locked down right and that's where i got closely work with the mechanical engineers in designing this chassis. Right. The chassis, the subframe, the swing arm and all some of the mechanical components that go into it. Right. And once that happened, once we knew the package was secure, right. we can have the sort of vision we are trying to go for for the design. Right. We locked down the mechanical package and started doing the aesthetic uh, design on the motorcycle. Right, right. Great. So now, now I want to ask you a bit about the branding. I'm, I'm pretty sure you're heavily involved in that as well. Yeah, the logo like, is yeah so, so the logo, what, what's the logo? Like, okay, what so the mean? logo is uh, a battery pack contained within four parabolic curves right. extending to infinity. Right, right, right. And and, and is this and is the font M flux, is this something proprietary that you guys have designed yourself? Uh, Yes or no? Okay. We got a font called Space Age, which is right. one of my favorite fonts. Right. And it was slightly modified to get this. Uh, right. Final log, excuse me. Right, right. And what, and what about the color? Any specific? I wanted blue. You it wanted was, blue? It was going to be some blue for sure. Right. But I wanted this to be blue. Right, right. No, because electricity, eco friendly, planet, the planet is blue. I wanted the bike to be blue. Right, right. Thank you so much, Vinay, for finding Thank the you. time. Thank All you. the best. This looks great. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. So Hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment and subscribe to Transfilm for receiving rich original news content from the world of business, finance, technology and our economy. Have a great day.